All right, Paul Hiles, he sat way, drawing the mental curtain and then flipping a switch and flipping their switch. So what happens is there's a lot of uh, books out there on psychology. Uh, what happens is you have to make a decision, terminate life. And so once you do that and you throw that switch, it's either A or B, the way I look at it and the way I've uh, you know, process it in the past. So if I go this person here, and, and either way I decide because of the weapon systems, and I decide to terminate life, they've got a right edge, a left edge, I go high thoracic, my eye focuses, I go to that one spot. Uh, I'm not looking at them as a human anymore, they are simply a target. And what I want that target to do is fall to the ground. And so I want to I want to break the skeletal structure in my mind because they're bad. If it's a muzzle flash, I have options here. It's the same thing. There, that is, uh, I can let the psychological, you know, come and go. But what I have to do is, are they impacts coming towards me? If if they're really close, I need to move the cover. But if not, and they're throwing air balls, can I get rounds on target? So I have to know most people right-handed shooters. So what I'm doing is I'm processing information in a logical sequence to make a hit. I'm not thinking about the psychological, I'm gonna die, this and that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, favor a little bit, break my shots, one, two, three. I'm gonna drop down, I'm assess. What I'm doing is, did that muzzle flash stop? If it stopped, then I go, I probably got a good hit. But I'm gonna still check that battlefield in that area again. I may look for other people out there. I'm not getting into a, a big emotional or complex. I have to solve a problem and move, look for additional threats. Now, there's a lot of people say, uh, oh, you know, you're going to go through this, you know, uh, we don't want to kill people. Well, there is a need to kill bad people. Otherwise, they kill you. They stop your uh, reproductive cycle. And so what happens is we have to be able to go from, boom, draw a metal curtain, make that shot come off, and then we can psychologically deal with everything after the fact. As long as you can look yourself in the mirror the next day, that uh, you know, legal, moral, ethical on that shot, then you're good to go. But you need to think through that ahead of time. So with all the psychological stuff, uh, they, they like to get real complex. And I, and I, write, I read uh, PhDs on it and this, you know, but they've never been to combat and never shot people. So uh, good stuff here, talking about it get an open dialogue because it applies to new police candidates. It applies to the law, or the military going in, a new private uh, going, and you may go from basic AIT, uh, hit airborne school, and right now, maybe be launching overseas. And so they've got to have a right and left boundary and a way to do business, and somebody's got to teach them that, and it's either OJT, and hopefully they, they do good, but we want to train them as close to the edge as possible both physically, mentally, tactically, technically, to make the shot and understand and have confidence in the system. That's the big thing, a lot of it, is confidence. So it will be just like I trained. That's what they should say after the, 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 the fact or the act. So I hope this tip helps you. You take care, be safe, and I will catch you guys on the range.